Welcome everyone to another video. Today we're talking about a situation that I've seen brewing for the past few days. A pretty big content creator who is an artist named Owo Neko made a video about this AI that like generates music. And then a bunch of people did not like that. They were like, you're, you're, you're AI generating art. And then a big YouTuber commented on that video and, and Neko had to make a video on that because, because she was getting ridiculed by a big YouTuber. So the video that we're going to be taking a look at first is, is the response to all the hate and the response to that comment from the big YouTuber, which is a comment I, I agree with. It, it should be right here on screen. But this is this is her response to, to that. AI is here now. It exists. And it exists as a tool, as a guide, as a placeholder. And yes, people can profit off of it, either in innovative or scummy ways. People are gonna use it for different things, good or bad. You can be wary of it and choose to avoid it, or you can embrace it. You as a person who's just sitting in a room with your friends, making tracks with lyrics doesn't make you the equivalent to a person who uses unauthorized AI to make a fully profited album that they claim that they created themselves. Now, this point here has me agreeing. Kind of. Like if you see people posting uh, AI generated character sheets or, or you just see normal AI art and that inspires you to make something, then create something. Get creative and make something because there's no copyright laws with, with AI generated art and hopefully there will never be. Also, if you need to use AI references, I mean, I wouldn't recommend that because people don't always have all their fingers or all the facial stuff that they need. So so references with AI are really ugh. But I could see why artists would use AI for like weird art, like weird, crazy art. But the thing there is, that's someone taking something and using their artistiness to, to make something. An entire argument you make in this video is how you didn't want to like practice anything or 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 get all the money for this to make someone else do it so you just cut to the chase by using ai and you monetized it i know you said that you s are selling the entertainment from this comment right here that you left another youtuber but that's not how it works you only used AI. and also isn't the entertainment the ai You know what, Cap? You might be good for something after all. When we made these songs, we were thinking in the moment of fun and memories we could share together. Of course, there's always gonna be people who use it for bad purposes. There's always gonna be someone stealing art, tracing, and making AI art while passing it off as their own. There are gonna be bad people everywhere you go. My stance on AI is that you can use it. You can use it for fun. You can use it for placeholders, references even. It's another tool that you can use to spark your own creativity. Now, the AI chat is is not for fun. The AI chat is not about the, the, the fun you can have with AI. AI chat is the is about the ethicals of it. Like big greedy companies not hiring artists anymore or animators because they can just type in a software and it just shittily pumps out slop. Artists are people and they need jobs and, and the way that you're using AI is exactly what people hate about it. And if it is for fun, Keep it to yourself, or don't monetize the video, you still would have been ridiculed, but, but at least you didn't monetize it. Just keep it to yourself, because shocker, no one likes AI art. And if you have to use AI art to express, like, your jokes or, or all that stuff, it's not really fully you. I did take a look into Suno AI, the music software that, that generates music. As I was listening to one of the little shitty tunes it was pumping out, it started doing a YouTube outro. Show you walking free guys, put your bit on a phone hit to your seed from not one Mr. Me Nations. Uh although I fill a cup with that chat it's a kitchen to the swap post on the rest. And six of us all subscribe, some more and see you. Guys, great to see you But it's Utterly obvious that Suno AI just blatantly steals from artists. Like, why else would the bot make that YouTube outro? It's getting YouTube videos in there, training it, so it's like, oh, 
I did the music part and then uh, the reference I'm using here has an outro. So I'm gonna add an outro. I want to encourage y'all to form your own opinions, find your own morals and preferences. And if you wanna use AI, don't let people fear monger you out of trying it for yourself. Being morally correct all the time is what makes people end up so stiff and lifeless. Is the person you want to be an AI artist? Of course, find out your opinions however you like, like test out AI and stuff and be like, oh, yes, no, no, this is my opinion. But don't ever make AI a part of you to finish your jokes or, or make your videos that are funny and you just sit there and do nothing especially if the joke is just stupid and bad and it was just a waste of time ai is not the enemy of art it's just another brush oh so there's nothing else in this video but but yap moving on there was a youtuber who actually made a pretty good video covering the situation it's a pretty big dive into into how neko's trying to shift the conversation even though it's supposed to be about the ethical dilemma people are pointing out the ethical stuff not not oh you're having fun stop having fun there's some fun to have with ai but if it's like stuck to you like you can't make a joke without using an ai thing to finish the joke it's pretty bad, especially if the joke is just poopy fart doo doo pants. But that YouTuber's video that I was talking about, it was pretty respectful, brought out everything that needed to be brought out, tried to shift the conversation back just in case if she saw the video. It's just like, please, please, we're talking about this, not this. And by Neko's next thumbnail, you can see that they did not take anything seriously at all, and they're just a straight up child, which is obvious by the jokes that they were making with the AI and all that. But here's a little clip of the video. I'll play it. It's a thumbnail. So the, like, I like want to show y'all the detail. I like want to show y'all the detail of it. I want to show y'all the detail of it. Okay, look, look, look. Look, hers, hers say, there's, my bad. There's, says, it's, 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 it, it, it's me saying, AI is good. When I never said that, <laughs> I said I was neutral. I said I was neutral. Look, look, look. So, 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 since she wanted to lie on me, look. Since she wouldn't lie on me, look. Put the words in her mouth. See the vision? See the vision? Look. And yes, I drew her with saggy titties. Like, what is it? I mean... This is just one of the most childish things I've ever seen on this website. And I just covered the Nux drama, by the way. Not only do they lie in the clip by saying, I said I was neutral. You didn't. They legit just harass the creator and make them look stupid in the thumbnail for, for no reason, even though they were very respectful about it. It was one of the nicest drama coverage I've ever seen. And Neko just shit all over it there's a lot more to the situation like she deletes youtube comments and on twitter when people are like actually trying to make an argument and trying to try to be serious she sends wojax as a response but she's not taking the situation seriously anymore not apologizing not doing anything but she's digging herself a bigger hole people have seen that she's transphobic for zero reason just being rude and mean what the heck dude y'all remember the large creator that originally left a comment right i still won't reveal who it is but it's come to my attention that nandi has been misgendering them and then blocking some people who try to correct her on twitter the large creator in question goes by he they pronouns and nandi has exclusively been using she her to refer to him people on twitter tried to correct her multiple times but instead of at least going back and changing the pronouns in her comments and video nandi has has instead kept going with it and blocked a few people who corrected her. <sighs> yeah, that's gonna be enough from me. There's a lot of annoying people on this website. Three videos in a row now. I've, I've just been covering annoying people. It's pretty fun to talk about a situation, get my thoughts on it, and then, then post a video and see everyone's comments. It's fun to respond and interact with, with uh, people. Anyway, yeah. Uh, I hope I see you guys next time, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening.